gonna show you how to do a remote playback of your DVR. So basically on the control panel menu, when you're gonna go to remote playback, and then you can open the um, the cameras of your DVR and select up to four. Why up to four? Because the system is gonna be doing actually playback of four cameras at the same time at high resolution. That means that it's kind of like uh, seeing four movies streaming at the same time. So it's gonna take a lot of the computer and a lot of the bandwidth. That's why it doesn't allow you to go up to more, more than up to four cameras. So when you select the cameras that you desire to see what the playback is for something that happened, uh, it's very important that you select synchronous playback. When you select this button, what's gonna happen is that basically when you click play, all the cameras are gonna be at the same time and date that you selected. If not, it, it will be a little bit messed up when you move forward with one of the cameras. It's gonna be a different fra different time frame from the other one. So it's always better just to have it on synchronous playback. So you can play it with it and just test it out. Also, you're gonna see a little red on each of the uh, days. Basically, that means it has the day has had recorded. So if you go, for example, back on March, you see over here, you're gonna see the little red things on the um, days. Also, you can go back to the year over here. So basically, we're gonna select right now nine. We're gonna click the search button. You're gonna notice that it's gonna appear over here. It's basically, this is our the uh, time frame that it has recorded for each of the cameras. So what we're gonna do is just click play. Or you can just double click on the time frame that you want. Now, after you click play, you're gonna notice it's gonna open up the cameras. Basically, you can double click on the camera that you want, double click again to go back. Then you have the uh, fast forward buttons. You're gonna, if you're gonna select it over here, you're gonna see that you're gonna be two times faster than live view, four times, eight times, 16 times. That's the max. Or you're gonna go back and you can put it half the time to kind of basically be like a slow motion of the camera system or you can just click play for regular live view you have the uh, stop to stop the uh, playback of the system uh, full screen mode and basically for single camera or to four cameras at the same time also you're gonna notice on, on in each of the um of the uh, screens you're gonna see another menu on the bottom that basically is digital zoom for the camera so you can just the same thing select and basically select digital zoom select it again to go back or the other things that you have is basically the uh, screenshot capture button to select uh, for whatever play that you're doing right now you can just take a screenshot of the uh, system also the record if by any chance there is something that you want to record at the moment that you're doing the playback you can just click the record button it's gonna basically download into your computer also you have the um, open or close sound basically right now if you have any cameras that have microphone connected to it you can just enable it to hear anything that's happening on the playback and then on the right you're gonna have the download button what that means is basically for that day that you have selected if you click the download button new screen is going to open up you may not see it over here but you're going to see several files that you can actually select and then download into your computer you select whichever the time frame that you want select whichever you want you're going to see it over there start end time and size of the uh, of the recorded and you can just select it and just click the download button at the bottom of that new screen and that's going to download that file into your computer And that's the playback and backup of the uh, DVR.